Um, another um, thing that you're able to do very easily is to switch maps. You can load up to, you know, you can load the maps that are the most important to you. Okay. I'll, uh, we're here at CTIA this week in Orlando, Florida, so I have the Orlando map loaded. And then, of course, there's my home map, which is Seattle. Okay. And, for instance, one of the things that's exciting is this is the first time that traffic is available for many markets in the country for people in general. Right. Um, because Enrix traffic covers more markets than any other company delivering traffic information right now, uh, for instance, sh the Chicago area, or not Chicago, excuse me, Miami area, mm -hmm. um, has no um, traffic information whatsoever. Because we offer GPS probe data that we're uh, deriving our traffic data from, for the first time ever, Miami residents are now able to actually access real-time traffic information. And okay, so um, compared it's not to previously available. So compared to something like... Uh the live search for Windows Mobile, which has it has basic traffic information, but they only can pull from the traffic sensors. So you're you're essentially saying that that you're able to pull data that uh, uh, other types of apps on the market right now they can't actually get that type of right. Data. If there are not road sensor data, right. if there's not loop data in those markets, and there is no data available for most of those applications, like what you just mentioned. Hmm. But with the Enrix traffic, um, we're aggregating data from, um, as I mentioned, GPS probe vehicles, Sun Cellular. Uh, we're using road sensor data, that sort of thing. Right. But in a market where none of those other things exist except for GPS probe, um, Enrix traffic is going to be the one that's going to get you from point A to point yeah. B. Is there any um, connection between your application and, uh, I guess, other GPS applications or turn-by-turn -turn driving apps, or, or is, this, is this more designed as a standalone, the consumer will sort of uh, load it up, you know, sort of plan their route, and then just sort of put it away, and then they, they go. Like, this isn't meant to be a, a navigation system. It's more of a planning system. Right, exactly. Right now, this is the way that the application is developed is more of a planning system, and it does not have turn-by-turn -turn directions. Right, right. However, I think what you'll see in the future is uh, Enrix Traffic partnering with uh, other application developers out there okay. that will offer that navigation um, component, perhaps, along with the traffic data that we deliver mm -hmm. on a handheld device or other devices that, uh, you know, personal navigation devices, things like that, that people would use. Okay. And so I wanted to just show you one other, um, one other. we also you can do traffic compared to normal, mm -hmm. uh, which would show you again, um, let's refresh that, although it's only a minute old data, and we're still in Miami here. Okay. And what this is able to do really is to tell you, um, you know, is, is traffic basically flowing the same as it would be on that regular, on, on a regular day? So for instance, with um, a market like, um, let's switch a map here, and let's go to Seattle, it's always interesting. But for instance, traffic compared to normal, for instance, if we had a, uh, a Sonics basketball game mm -hmm. that's happening on uh, at this time during the day, would traffic essentially be different, the same, worse? And so this is able to show you that it is going to be either uh, comparable or it's going to be um, a variable, either negative or more positive. Right. The other application here, too, is we're able to show you uh, speeds. So let's go here. We're on... Um, and that, actually, that was traffic compared to normal there. Okay. And then um, if we wanted to go, um, and we can show on the map comparative speed. So we're going to go ahead and choose that. And now you can see, um, and let me see if I can get any closer on that. So, yeah, that didn't help us too much. Let me go back again. Okay, so here you can see the different, um, the different boxes. Those are showing you relative speeds for that particular area of roadway. For instance, um, traffic is moving very slowly in this red area, only an average of about 15 miles an hour. And again, this is based on um, national average uh, speeds that are that are we have um, collected the data on those particular roadways. But also the fact that if the speed limit is set at, for instance, 65 miles per hour, what's the, the rate of speed that um, the travelers are experiencing right now? So that's something that you can also um, see. Is again, how long is it going to take you to get across that bridge, or you know, are you able to make a few phone calls and catch up on your calendar while right. you're stuck in traffic. Right. So, um, so we actually, um, we also feel that as far as the way that this really does, um, the way that this really does affect consumers at this point is um, from a standpoint of being able to not only help them with their daily commute, their daily schedules, mm -hmm. but to also, again, use the predictive traffic data and be able to plan in advance for how their day is going to go. And right now, as I mentioned earlier, um, it might be something where um, you are 
um, in your car and you're looking at a navigation device and that's great and right. it, but you're already sitting in traffic at that point yeah, if right. you're able to um, if you're able to take uh, a route, look at it, and again decide: Am I going to make it to um, my kid's ballet performance mm -hmm. or my dentist appointment? Right. That's really where this becomes powerful. Um, we call it um, having the power of prediction in the palm of your hand, and we really feel that this is an application that's going to be um, pretty favorably adopted. We're hopeful and uh, very easy and intuitive to use. So. Okay, and so it's available from Handango.com for you said 39.99. 39.95. Per year on a subscription basis. Exactly. All right. Well, great. Thank you very much for the demo. Thank you.